What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today is another hockey card video and as you guys know, I absolutely love getting mystery packs from eBay. I've had some really good luck and have picked up and received some really great cards from these mystery packs. Today I found a seller that was selling sealed packs, a random selection, and in the picture it did have SP Authentic, so I was hoping to get an SP Authentic pack because I've never opened one up personally, but I did get some other good packs as well, and I'm going to be sharing that in this video. Just a reminder, I have already went and opened these up for myself because I haven't had time to record, so I really wanted to see what I got out of these, so I'm just going to be showcasing what I got. So first, I'm going to be opening and showing you guys this 0708 Opeachy pack. First card, Nicola Habelin. I butcher names left and right on this channel. If you guys are new here, stay tuned. Uh, Gilbert Brew, Andrew Alberts, a Rob Neidermeyer. Alexander Radarov, Radilov, what did I say? And a marquee rookies for Tori Mitchell. Now I do have his dual jersey card for his rookie year as well. I recently found that I think in a Walmart uh, fifteen dollar pack that includes a jersey card and an auto pack. So this one's a nice one. I guess I'm starting a small PC of his. I never receive any of his cards personally. I don't see too much of his stuff, but. You know what, I'll take that. I like the marquee rookie cards from that year. They look nice. Next is a 0708 Hot Prospects pack. This is a retail pack. And there's only four cards in them. So I was expecting great things. I can't remember. I can't see what it says on it there. But up first is Ryan Smith. It won't even focus today, will it? Nope. Okay. A Marion Halsa. I like this. I don't have too many of his cards. Uh, I have some of his Ottawa Senators cards, and I think I do, or I recently picked up a autograph card of his, so that's a nice one to get. Jeff Carter. I love the Flyers now. I've been getting a lot more of their cards, and their cards look awesome with the orange. And Mike Modano. I've always mispronounced his name. If I did right now, I do apologize, but I do believe I have a small PC of his, so for four cards, that's not the greatest deal, but I honestly can't complain. Next is 0708 Fleer Ultra, and it says to find rookie cards. So this one here, it was a thick pack, and for saying it only has five cards, that was concerning, but I didn't realize that Fleer did this, so... They have this redeem code, which is a thick card inside that you can save 15, 25 or 50 percent on your next purchase on the online store. I know I did share the code here, but it's from 0708. Likely the code does not work anymore. So I thought that was very interesting. I thought it was going to be a jersey card or something. Next, Marion Gabor Gabrick. I like these uh, cards. They look nice. Marcus Lassland. I don't know if this is an insert for Fleer, but it's honestly not the greatest where it just has the Fleer Ultra logo in the back on the brown. That does not look nice, but Thomas Plakanik. Uh, Miko Kovu. And Mark Savard. I like how it has the name. For his team, for their team colors, there. That's that's what I like about those ones. Next is 04 Pacific Hockey. I don't think I've ever gotten any of these ones before, so this is going to be a real treat. Frederick Modden, Magnus Arvidsson. Ottawa Senators cards, that can go in my Ottawa Senators PC. That one's not bad, even though I'm not familiar with the player at all. Oleg Verdovsky. Victor Kozlov. A Wes Waltz. This player's been following me with mystery packs recently. 
I did do a 90s pack video where I purchased a bunch of 90s packs from eBay as well. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading these videos, so I just wanted to mention that. But I did receive his Young Guns and his Prospect, par prospect card for score in that video as well. So he's a player that seems to be following me now. Alice Kotalak? Kotalik? Stefan Yelly? Oh! Forgot about this one, a jersey card for Saku Kovu. Now, I didn't, whenever I opened this up, I didn't realize it was a jersey card just because of how thin the card is, but that's not too bad. I'm not a fan of Montreal Canadiens. I, uh, unfortunately, I'm not familiar with this player, so this might be a jersey card that I might include in one of my mystery packs on eBay. Maybe I'll put them with my Montreal Canadiens mystery pack or see what it's worth. I'm honestly not sure. I don't remember looking it up yet. Next is a current Opeachy pack, 1920. And we'll see here what we get. Mika Zibanejad. I am a huge fan of his. I honestly don't have many of his cards. I think I have one of his Ottawa Senators cards and a few of his Rangers cards, but honestly, I don't get to find them too often. So that's a nice one for me. And I like these Opeachy cards. Brad Richardson. They just look crisp and cream. Clean, not cream. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood. A retro card for Jesper Kotanimi. Tyler Bozak. Jason Zucker. Nice. I got his score hot prospects or hot rookies card not too long ago. Casey DeSmith. And Tyre Tafoli. I get a few of his cards. I don't I'm not really familiar with the player, so I always butcher his name. And next is a 1920 Allure pack. Now this is the first Allure pack and Opichi for this year pack as well. But I've never really seen them often. So this is gonna be very interesting. I like these. The look of these cards look amazing. Uh Isla. McHennev rookie card. Now it almost reminds me so much of a few years back the uh, Opeachy Platinum cards with the mirror finish. That looks awesome. I really do like that. Can't put it there. I'll put you there. Jacob Brannon. I actually received one of his rookie cards recently as well. Or what I believe to be a rookie card of his. Joel Les Pires. I butchered the hell out of that, but his rookie card. Dylan Larkin. I think I have a small PC of his, um, or I have a couple of his cards at least. It just has a nice mirror finish. That reminds me so much of Opeachy Platinum. Looks nice, though. I like it. Ilkale uh, Makar, rookie. Not bad. And the final one is a top 50s. I love the blue. It's like a rainbow blue foil. That looks awesome. I'm a huge fan. But it's for Rudolph's Blackers, who I'm a fan of for the Ottawa Senators. And I love collecting Ottawa Senators cards. So that, to me, is an amazing card to get. So out of these, this here, uh, the seller, you purchase five. And they're $5 and something. And it came to $25 and some odd change. You purchase five, you get one pack free. So I might do this again in the future. I did receive some interesting cards, mostly base from these packs. I really was hoping to get an SP Authentic card. I might order from them again in the future in hopes to get an SP Authentic card. If I do, I will be in my glory because I've never opened up a pack of SP Authentic or a regular pack of SP, in fact. So that'd be awesome. The best ones in this video, in my opinion, are the... Top 50 Rudolph's Blackers card. It just looks phenomenal. It's a nice addition to my Sense collection. The Jersey card, which I'm not really keen on, but it is a nice hit. And of course, the Marquee Rookie for Tori Mitchell. That one's a nice one, but everything really isn't of a substantial value. And I really could have done without the Fleer cards and the 0708 cards and earlier. I could have done without those because I like the current cards more, and that's what I collect more. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will hopefully order from this seller again in the future. Please take care. Peace.
What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today is another mystery card eBay video and I absolutely love doing these. I've had a lot of success from sellers and a lot of sellers are really honest. I've picked up a lot of great cards that I've shared in similar videos for you guys. So today is another one and I'm really surprised of how much work this seller did. Let me just show you here. So his mystery cards include a pack of random cards. A bonus pack, so I'm not sure what is in here. A jersey or serial number insert or parallel pack. Not sure what to get here. You can't really focus on it. And another one, which is either a graded or an autographed card. Now, this is a thick hard case, so I'm pretty sure it's graded. And it's going to be my first graded card that I've received. So I'm going to start off with the smallest one, the random card pack, just because it is so small. It's probably all base, but it's going to be interesting to open. So I'm extremely excited. So let's get right into it. Up first is Steven Rice. So I did pick this up recently in the 90s pack video. I don't know if I upload this one or that one first, but I've already got this card, but it is a base card, so not too bad. Next, I already have this card, but I can't complain. A Wayne Gretzky na uh, National Hockey Card Day card. Um, I received two of these in the packs for Hockey, Do Hockey Card Day cards, so I know it's not rare. So this is another one to have, so I might see what I can do with it or give it away maybe. That's a nice one to get out of a mystery pack. You don't usually expect any Wayne Gretzky. A Mike Riley Parkhurst Rookies card. That one's not too bad. A Ottawa Senators card for Mark Freer. Now, I do collect Ottawa Senators cards, so this one's a nice one for me personally to put in my Ottawa Senators collection. And the last one is an Icebreakers for Paul Kaira. Uh, I'm not familiar with the player, but uh, that card does look nice. I will be keeping that for my collection. That one looks phenomenal. So not too bad for the random packs or the random card pack. Next, I'm going to do the uh, bonus pack because I'm assuming that this is going to be um, likely all base as well, possibly. Um, okay, not bad. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so the first one, just a top loader, just to make sure the pack's solid and it's not going to bend or anything in, during shipping. A OHL card 92 for Todd Bertsui. I'm not familiar with the player at all, as you can tell, but the only reason it's in the top loader is so it doesn't bend uh, the rest of the cards that are in the pack. So that's nice, but it is a 92 OPG Premier Hockey Card Pack. So this one is going to be awesome. So let's, let's see what we get from the sealed pack. Jeez, I was stuttering there already. A original six card. For the Montreal Canadiens. Okay, so it's a Montreal Canadiens checklist for that year. That's pretty cool. I like that. I collect a lot of the team checklists. I don't like the checklist cards, but I do like the team ones where it focuses on the team. So I really do like that. Next, Ken Hodge. Not familiar with him, unfortunately. Jimmy Carson, same thing. I'm trying to let it focus here, but it's clearly not... Barry Pedersen, I like the Whaler cards. I'm going to start collecting all, all of the ones that I find. Steve Dueshny, or Duchesne? Dueshny sounds better. Adam Graves. Thomas Sanderstrom. There we go. Finally got it in focus. And Ray Shepard. Uh, so not too bad. I like the Montreal Canadiens card better, even though I've mentioned on this channel I do not like the team. I like getting those cards, um, the uh, team checklist cards or the team cards in general. So the next pack is going to be the jerseys or serial number pack and the inserts or parallel pack. Now, some of these were top loaded mainly so they don't bend the rest of the cards in the pack like usual, but we're off to a great start. Dylan DeMello, 
Ice Premieres Clear Cut. I love these cards. Out of one nine nine nine. So I'm I'm a fan of Dylan DeMello. It was sad to see him get traded away from the Ottawa Senators. I thought he was good, and I thought he was going to be doing good for the Sens for years to come. And I don't think his contract was too high, but this is a nice one to get. A numbered card for Dylan DeMello. I will absolutely take it. I'm a huge fan. I already have his uh, Young Guns. I picked that up recently as well. A portrait card. Upper Deck Portraits for Rick Nash. I love these cards, especially this year. The portraits look phenomenal, but I also have a small PC of Rick Nash. I did a full video where I picked up a whole uh, bunch of cards of Rick Nash on eBay. So I did that as a solo video, and now I seem to keep finding a lot of his cards. They just seem to, seem to follow me. A Keith Jones uh, Electric Ice card. So I'm not familiar with the player, but that's a cool insert. Might have to hold on to that. And the last card, a SP Rookie Authentics for Brady Kachuk. Now this is awesome. I've already mentioned I collect Ottawa Senators cards. I really wished this was a numbered card. If it was, even the back looks so clean and crisp. That looks awesome. Um, SP does a great job with all their cards. I would have loved if this was a Future Watch card, a numbered card, or something along those lines to give it a little bit more of a collecting appeal, but... Definitely going into my collection. It's the first Brady Kachuk card that I have. So I am extremely happy. So this pack was probably the best. But now the graded or auto pack, which I'm 99% sure it's a uh, graded card just because of how thick and how big it is. And it is. It is a graded card. So for my first graded card, graded at a 9. It's a Young Guns of a player that I don't have. A Matt O'Connor of the Ottawa Senators. Now, it's probably not the most valuable card. Not probably the most sought after. But for me, for an Ottawa Senators card, a goalie card, a Young Guns card, and to get my first graded card as a 9, it has everything going for me. I love the Ottawa Senators. I love getting them. I love getting goalie cards. I've been collecting a lot more of the Young Guns cards, especially for this year, and I know I don't have his card yet. So this is awesome to get as my first graded card. I'm definitely going to put it on display. Like I said, I doubt this is going to be of much value, but for me personally, for it being an Ottawa Senators player, a Young Guns card, and a goalie card, that it is graded so high, a 9, to me, I will take that as my first graded card. I know it's not of value, but for me personally... It is priceless, so I'm definitely going to be putting this on display. It's not even a player that I don't even believe the Sens have anymore, but uh, it's definitely worth everything. So this seller, in my opinion, was the best or one of the best ones that I've received cards from. There is a few sellers now that I have gotten great cards from and some that I've already reordered from. So this seller here, I definitely plan on reordering from him in the future. He sells different variant ones. I might go with a more expensive one next time. This one was a $15 free shipping one. Or sorry, I think shipping with him was $4. So uh, about $19 in total this cost. But I got some great cards out of it and I got my first graded card. Now, if it would be, it would be interesting to see what jersey card it would have been if I received jersey cards. And if it was an autographed card, if it was of much more value. But he also sells $25 packs, $45 packs, and I think $100 packs. Along with $5 and $10 packs. This was a $15 pack. So I might either stick with a $15 pack because I know I'll be guaranteed either a graded or an auto card. If I go lower, I'm not going to be guaranteed this. I'll just get a lot more of these packs. But the $25 pack, you get one of these or the auto card, and you get more of these cards. So next time with him, I might go with a $25 pack, but I have some great luck with sellers, so I'm a huge fan. I love doing these videos, and I get some really great cards for my collections. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.